In this week's video, we're going to talk about measuring for your industrial curtains. It's one of the most common questions we get. Customers want to know what size they should actually make their curtain. And that size relates to both the, uh, the width and also the height of the curtain. And it really is not as complex as it seems. Most curtains uh, feature a rolling track. So we have wall, chain, ceiling, thread rod, and beam mount. Now all of these uh, different styles actually are utilizing the same track. And that track is 1.25 inches in height. And then below that you have the space between your curtain, which varies between about a half inch to an inch, depending on the manufacturing process and style of curtain. So the math can get a little complicated on this. So as a general rule, what you want to do is you take the distance from your mounting point to the floor. So if this is where you're going to attach your hardware, uh, let's just say this is 10 feet from here to here. You would want to make your curtain size to be 9 feet 9 inches. And what we're doing is we're just taking off 3 inches from the distance from the mounting point to the floor and that's going to accommodate the hardware and it's going to keep the curtain just off of the floor. Now each of these styles vary slightly so it's not going to be uh, right on the mark as far as hey this is going to be exactly one inch because uh, in addition to that you also have curtains which arrive slightly wrinkled from packaging which will relax over time and then you have the hot and cold which expands and shrinks material um, so you have a lot of variables so we always tell customers you know just take three inches off from the distance and you're good to go with floor sweeps it's the uh, same math so a floor sweep you want to be just off of the floor so if this is your floor you want your curtain to be just above it and then you want your floor sweep to be draped and laying on the floor so a floor sweep hangs six inches below the curtain. So the distance from the bottom of the curtain to the floor sweep is going to be six inches. And that's going to rest on the floor. And the floor sweep's replaceable, so you can take it off and replace it if you ever need to. You don't want the curtains laying on the floor um, in just about any instance because it doesn't look good because they get all crunched up at the bottom. And also, you don't want the curtain dragging on the floor as you open and close it. So try to take accurate measurement, measurements and subtract the three inches, and that's going to get you where you need to be for the width. So let's talk about, um, I'm sorry, the height. So let's talk about the width now. So when you're trying to cover a distance from point A to point B, whatever this may be, um, we are going to add 5% to that distance. And the reason we do that is we want to give you proper drape. And drape is the effect that you see here to the extreme of a curtain kind of wrinkling up, uh, folding like a stage curtain in a theater. We want to add extra width to the curtain so that it covers your distance and it doesn't come up short. If you have a 10 foot opening and you have us make you a 10 foot curtain, when that curtain is relaxed on the track, it's actually going to fall short of that because the curtain naturally is just going to kind of pull together a little bit and you're going to have a gap at the ends. Um, so to try to uh, facilitate making the curtain the entire span, we add the 5%. You'll notice on our quotes when you receive it, it'll say 5% added for proper drape and that's what that little note is about. Now the track will arrive longer than you generally order the curtain for or the space for. So if you ordered a 10 foot curtain from us, you're probably going to end up with like 12 feet of track. And the reason we do that is so that you can field cut the track in the field and you can just lop off the end and then you put in your end stop which goes in the end of the track so that the rollers don't fall out. This allows you to get a perfect fit in the field and you can use a hacksaw if it's a small amount of track or if you have a lot of track, you can use a powered saw and cut those to the exact size. So that's how you measure for curtains. And there are, you know, little variations based on different uh, track styles. 
as far as moving them up or down of the mounting surface. Uh, that will be a separate video, uh, but for your general purpose measuring, this should get you where you're going. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to ask our sales team. We will definitely email you back very quickly or give you a call. We can go over exactly what you're looking for.